Today on the Bass Channel, we're checking out the Vertigo Ultra Bass Bag from Mono. All right, before we get too deep into this video, uh, I should let you know that Mono sent me this bag directly for this video to give you all the information, test it out, and put it through its paces. Now, at the end of the day, that doesn't really mean anything. I'm not gonna try to sell you to buy this bag. You're more than welcome to buy any bag you want, but just in case you didn't know this one exists, my job is to just let you know what it's all about. The Vertigo is the world's first top-loading guitar and bass bag. It features a fully redesigned headlock neck suspension system with no strapping, buckling, or belting required. Just throw your bass in and the neck finds a natural resting point at the base of the headlock. Then zip the case up and the top section of the headlock automatically clamps down over your bass, holding it firmly in place. Your headstock is now fully protected against backward drops and side-to-side -side impact. Another first of its kind, the boot takes guitar and bass protection to a new level. Using manufacturing technologies from the footwear industry, the Vertigo bounces off concrete like a pair of cross trainers. With its custom molded rubber outsole and EVA insole, the boot also protects strap pins of all shapes and sizes from those nasty vertical drops. Integral ABS panels deliver hard case protection at a fraction of the weight. Mono cases weigh in at about 75% less than their hard case counterparts. The reinforced outer shell of the Vertigo absorbs and deflects hard impact away from the vulnerable areas of the base. Mono cases are built to military specs using only high test materials with extreme resistance to abrasion and the elements. Inside, the plush lining protects delicate custom finishes. Outside, the water-resistant shark skin shell keeps you on the move, rain or shine. Rock-solid industrial webbing handles come standard on mono cases. Bar tack stitching and steel rivets reinforce for strength, while high-grade webbing provides super comfortable grip. This case is designed to fit all standard body and some not-so-standard bases. The molded Vertigo headlock fits standard and wide-width necks. So, of course, all that verbiage definitely comes across as you would expect a website description to come across. It's very colorful language, it's very sales pitchy, but the big question that we all have and you probably have is what does that mean for me in a real world situation? Well, I can tell you that for me, it means I can drop it down the stairs. I can drop it from a variety of heights directly onto the ground. I can throw it directly up and let it fall however it falls back to earth. I can swing it like a baseball bat at a metal pole. I can use it like a battering ram into a concrete wall, and I can spray it with over a gallon of water from a hose or from a rain cloud or wherever you get your water from and the base comes out of the bag with minimal damage. Now you might have noticed I said minimal damage it didn't come out completely unscathed but then again I did put it through some serious abuse but what that would mean for you in any real world scenario is that if you treat this bag and your base with any decent level of respect that an instrument would deserve your base is going to come out unscathed because you're going to put this in a van on top of some stuff or a truck and you're gonna hit a bump and then it's gonna slide off and fall this way and then you're gonna carry it to the gig and you might drop it, it might come down this way. I don't wanna scare my dog, but you get the point. Any reasonable minor abuse that would actually happen in the real world, your base is gonna come out absolutely unscathed. Now for my ultra sadistic abuse that I put it through this morning, there was minimal damage. Um, I'm still considering it a win. Uh, given that most of you are probably not going to swing this at a metal pole and most of you are probably not going to shoot it directly up into the air and let it fall however it falls. But here's the thing. The damage that did occur was just a chip on the side of the body. Where I thought it was going to go was somewhere in that tilt back headstock, especially after shoving it at a wall headstock first. I thought for sure the headstock was going to snap. But not only did the headstock not snap, the tuners didn't break, even though I have one tuner on there, the E-string, that's in shaky, questionable condition and I'm waiting for it one day to fail. Uh, it didn't, it actually held a tune decently. When I took the bass out of the bag after all those tests, the strings were a little flat as to be expected. Uh, the A string probably the most of all, but all the other strings were flat enough to not be in pitch, but they weren't flat enough to go down to the next semitone. So again, after all I put this thing through this morning, I consider that a serious win. The handle is very comfortable. These back pads for wearing it like a backpack is very comfortable and my favorite part is the wheel attachments. Putting the wheel attachments here and rolling it like a piece of luggage or something, especially because I know I'm going to use this here in the near future to take to one of my friends at a gig and I'm going to have to walk through either an entire casino or all the way down Fremont or where, wherever. Um, and I know that this is gonna get heavy, especially because I usually have more than just this. I got cameras, I got pedals, I got who knows what I'm gonna have to bring uh, in order to get some live footage because I'm not gigging right now and my friends are, so I take all my gear to them. So having those wheel attachments on a bag, I've never seen that before and I love it. So that is probably my favorite feature of the bag, but I have to say the top load feature is pretty cool as well. And of course, 
this neck support really does its job as advertised uh, because that base is fine other than for that ding kind of on the body where your arm goes. And it's on the back, so it's like you won't even see it when I'm playing it. So like I said, up top, of course, you're free to get any bag or any case or anything that you want. But just in case you haven't heard of this one, pun intended, uh, I thought I would share it with you. Uh, big thanks again to Mono for sending this out. If you're curious, if you're interested, if you're thinking about swinging the bat, I've done all of the scary hard work for you to let you know that your base is going to survive just about anything you can throw at it while it's in this case, um, unless you're hitting it against a pole like a baseball bat, of course. Now, if you're intrigued by the footage of the stress test and you'd like to see the full extended audio included version of all of those hyper sadistic tests that I put this through this morning, sign up to be a member. It costs you $5 a month or approximately a cup of coffee a month. And you get access to not only that video, but a bunch of other member exclusive videos that we've done in the past, present and future. If you don't want to do that and you want to keep all your coffee to yourself, that's totally fine too. Just give this video a like or a dislike, a subscribe, a comment share it with your friends. Whatever you want to do is cool with me. Either way, I'm just happy you're here. So big thanks to Mono for sending this bag out. Big thanks to all of you for watching. And I think that's just about all I have to say. So in the meantime, be safe and I'll see you when I see you.